Welcome to a new Let's Play with some of our mistakes. Hello and welcome back to Air Island today. We are getting the cabbage in. We need to get these short goring rows this end. We are leaving a good patch of land on the headlands because the contractors that will be coming in to get them done are going to be using big machinery so uh, yeah, will be a good bit of ground that will be left empty to do cabbage, but it's not a big problem. We are in the field next to the showground to show how far away from the main farm we are. Look where we are. We're down there, right down the opposite end of the map to where our farm is. We shall now call that it. From there. We need to get ourselves squared into the next breed. Do our first breed all the way through. Or as far through as we can get before we run to the edge. This is a fairly big field the contractors who are coming in to do the cabbage for us are big machinery anyway so that's not a problem for them we are now going to be getting ourselves sorted into the next breed again yeah getting a good bit of ground covered pretty quickly we are growing onions carrots and cabbage this season on the farm just missed a little bit of the field there but not to worry And uh, the cabbage we are growing on contract it's all going to a well known company that makes coleslaw Hence we need as many cabbage as we can get. This will be the first of our full breeds through the field. We should get these cabbage all drilled today. We are putting fertiliser on them as well. This is the first breed all the way through to the end of the field now. And leaving a big enough headland for the uh, company to be able to turn their big equipment around. coverage for the seed as well we've, uh, we've 
only used 25% or just over 25% of the seed to get this far so not a seed hungry crop to get in not sure what sort of prices we're going to get for the cabbage but may in another may also do some red cabbage another season to uh, go for pickling so uh, yeah it's plenty of scope for diversity going forward on the uh, growing cabbage, potatoes, carrots, onions, lettuce and red cabbage for this season we've got the carrots and onions in but for this season we just growing on the vegetables on the brassica side is just going to be the cabbage for the cold slot getting quickly through the field this tractor getting a good few hours on already 10.4 hours we do need to get more tractors not the two wheel drive board we've got did go and have a look at a New Holland tractor to replace the two wheel drive on what we've got. We shall see going further down what we choose to do with that. We now need to left a gap there, gone a little too wide. <coughs> That's better. Now we've got down the right trail. Yeah, quickly getting through this crop. It is the last crop we've got to get into the ground. shall be flat out with fertilising, spraying and also very shortly we should be able to get some grass cut, make some hay and some silage and uh, think about getting the cattle on the farm it should be pretty quickly through this field Not sure what the frost resistance, drought resistance and stuff like that is on these. We haven't really checked into that side of them. And I can quite imagine that they will be susceptible to drought. Same as lettuce, if we grow that would be susceptible. Yes. 
so I'll spawn around into the next breed. So you can see the end of the field that we are working to is coming very quickly indeed. Uh, you may even see us taking this back to the yard. Before we finish the video today, or you may not, depends how quickly we get across here because, well, we've still got about 18 minutes to record, I think, so plan is as well to get some Alstein cattle on the farm as quickly as we can. Should be able to drink water and eat grass without purchasing anywhere any hay or anything for a start off so it's possible we could get some Alstein cattle on the farm oh, we forgot. no we didn't forget to put it down it just hasn't made a, a ridge mark on there has it don't know why. No, we did forget to put it down, that's why. We shall continue on. View from behind. You can see from this view we've easily got halfway across the field I'd thought. The rows will be coming shorter very soon so that will bring us to the end quicker I would say we are halfway through the cabbage planting because we had to do it twice on a click try and follow the line down hopefully be pretty straight when we get to the end cabbage planting one of the jobs I used to do on the farm when I was on the farm although we didn't drill cabbage we actually did plant cabbage I had a planter with five people on the back putting modules into the cups actually did really long days one year I think it was 1992 they decided that me and another guy was going to I was going to go in at one o'clock in the afternoon and work till eight o'clock at night and the other guy was going to start at six in the morning until one o'clock something like that at 8 o'clock in the morning I had the farm manager rattling on the door that's how we'd managed to do it I don't know but he'd actually got rows crossed over so from then on until we got the cat, all the onions planted I was starting work at 6 in the morning till 8 at night and I'll tell you by the time I'd finished the days I was staring at the line as I am doing down here now after all that many hours my brain was dead got a few kinks in and straightened them up the next day you could always tell all the way through the growing season which was done at night and which was done in the daytime if 
because of the bends in the field. We are now getting to where the shorter rows are. Should soon get through all of the cabbage. And that is where we're going to have to stop there because we've got to leave room for the cabbage harvester to turn around when the contractors come in. You may ask why don't we do our own cabbage harvesting but the harvesters are almost half a million pound each no way can our farm cope with that so we will pay the 10,000 or whatever it is they need to harvest them hopefully it will be a profitable job many breeds left in here now and each one gets ever shorter go down oh, and we run out of seed shall have to lift up hold the planter up to get to the seed This fill up should take us all the way to the end. That is all the fertilizer gone, and we've got more seed to go in. There we go. And fold again. This is the last of our fields we've got to get drilled. We are on Tuesday the 19th of May, so very shortly should be able to start getting the grass cut to make some hay. We'll also need to go and get some cows as well further down the line so plenty of work for us to show you as we go forward here on Air Island. to the end now you can see where that next ridge marker is that not going to be too long before we've got all these cabbage in we'll take the cabbage planter back to the farm and let's just close the back window 
controls to open and close the back window are on the what I have designated as buttons to go in and out of cab and pause the game whilst I'm playing so uh, if you want to open the kit window then you do actually see the pause come up momentarily and there now you can see the gateway that we use to come in an old ruin there as well yeah, one more breed back and that will be the end of the cabbage planting now all our crops are in these are actually all uh, fertilised so we haven't got to come down here for a little while anyway until we need to get them all done we shall fold up that we can't turn this off now some reason probably could be folded it probably needs to be open to turn off there we go so we have got time to get this to the yard so uh, I will pop back off camera and pick the trailer up which has the seed on it go before he gets here because he will hold us up Put our beacons on. So yeah, that is everything on the farm in the ground that we have to do. We are in late spring of course, so uh, it's a good job we have got it all planted up. little bit of a wheelie there over the bumpy bit of road there's a good few patches on these roads here they really are patching roads instead of repairing them going forward we want to expand the farm buy some more land uh, there's our field to the left of us there with the carrots and onions in <coughs> again it may be a case of get someone contracted in to harvest those for us for this season and or unless we can hire a harvester to get them out of the ground Back down the river side now, just got to go over the river and put this bit of a straight to the farm now. So you can see there our potatoes, most of them are through and growing. The 
In fact, they all are. They've all come through now, so they're growing well. Our cereal crop there in that field is growing nicely. So we will have to get to the shop and put buy ourselves some fertiliser. Go and spread that. Or at least check the fields to see. Here we are back at the farm. It's a bit tight this yard, but we can manage. Right, we need to now. And our tractor washed and our planter. Is our tractor washed again? Uh, seed drill away. And we shall have to go into the workshop, put row crops on here, ready for getting the. Can we get that in here? No, it goes in this end one. That won't lift off for some reason. There we go, it's off now. So we shall put this tractor away as we do. Hope you've enjoyed this episode getting the cabbage planted. Please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment if you're new to Summer Farm Estates and you'd like to see more of the work we do here, please subscribe to the channel. Give that bell a tap, it will tell you when we do these videos, when we do our live streams. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye for now.